guys, happy spring, ne? You see how you can't see me? You are half seeing me. That's the flames I'm seeing this semester. Guys, as the months progress, is the pressure decreasing or increasing? Because, hi, bo, look, I can't even undo my hair. Guys, are we going to graduate? <laughs> Yay! Ah, no. It's giving. Can we study see Hi, bo. Good evening, guys. How are you? How are you doing? How are you doing? Oh. I'm tired. I feel like my nails. Anyway, guys, um, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sagwadi Wakara Butla, and I'm back again with yet another video. All right, guys, so I'm doing this in a house full of my bunch of kids. I have a bunch of kids. I'm saying bunch of kids in a good way, okay? Not, don't come here with your blogs and say stuff that are not there. Anyway, guys, so you know you, there may be disturbances, but we hope not, okay? So we are doing SJD 1501, assignment 7, your portfolio, okay? This is the things, I'm going to emphasize this, ne? There were so many questions that people were inboxing me that were, that were asking me and they were shocking. Somebody asked me, what is the format of the portfolio? What is the format of the portfolio? They sent you a portfolio. They gave you a portfolio to do for eight days. Eight days. Eight, nine days. Eight days. They send you the portfolio. They send you the questions. They told you what to do and what not to do. And then you come and ask me, what is the format of the portfolio? Get in here, guys, because you guys are going to take instructions. Nala and Chosha. Oh, anyway, that's your assignment, Simon. I want you to learn something about this free distinction um, modules. Oh, gosh. Hey, I'm tired. Mm -mm. Hey, guys. I never thought I have to do this, but after I saw what I saw today, and after I was given, um, 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 somebody was like, please help me, and then I'm like, okay, please send me, let me check for you, and try to correct you. The thing, Lena, guys, UNISA will suspend you. Yes, you'll spend two years at home. <laughs> Four semesters not studying because of Chat GTP job plagiarism. But anyway, you need to read instructions and follow them. This is you are definitely you can leave first year with eight, if not ten distinctions. If you just follow instructions and study. It's first year, guys. What are you gonna do in third year? Hmm? Yo, uh uh guys, don't be a trick. Anyway. Uh, assignment say, 7 says, please read the following instructions carefully before answering the assignment questions. No direct copying and pasting from any source unless specified. A list of references must be included at the end of this assignment that corresponds with the used in text. In, in text. In text referencing. No list of references. Five marks will be deducted. Only typed assignments will be accepted. Somebody asked me, do they take handwritten? What does the instruction say? What does the instruction say? Okay, guys, sorry about that. Okay, let's continue. Um, handwritten assignments will be allocated zero. You get zero. You're going to fail. Okay? Information from assignment assistance, assignment assistant websites will be disallowed. Chat GTP, G, chat GP. Lanstresa, yo. Anyway, this module, the, the module you just completed can be regarded as the first step to eventually fulfilling your role in the justice system. Now we would like you to reflect on what you have learned and how this knowledge has affected your view of the law, the justice system, and the people who upload, uphold the law in this country. In other ways, we want you to begin formulating your 
own personal justice philosophy compile a document of no less than 2500 words in which you reflect on the issues below in the case h w h versus w judge nell will said the law has to take into account changing realities not only technologically but socially but also socially or else it will lose credibility in the eyes of the people without credibility law loses legitimacy if law loses legitimacy it loses acceptance if it does if it loses acceptance it loses obedience it is imperative that the courts respond prop appropriately to changing times acting cautiously with wisdom With that in mind, the impact of social media on the social with that in mind, the impact of of social media on the constitutional right to privacy in South Africa restate the relevant section in the Constitution of South Africa Act 108 of 1996 as amended. Okay, so this question is saying that when you must uh, recode the section relevant to the above statement that speaks of South that speaks of privacy in South Africa. Okay, that is why I said you can get this at the court free or at any UNISA branch if you find those people during registration. If you find like black what what chapter, uh, black uh, the student chapter, black lawyers, yeah, uh, association. This. So this is found on that I wrote it down. Section 14 of the Constitution outline, outlines the right to privacy and it reads everyone has a right to privacy with which includes the right not to to have their person home or home searched, their property searched, their possession seized and their possessions seized and the privacy of their communications seized right so i've just explained to you but what you're gonna write is to say um the right to privacy is found in section 14 and it reads hmm? you try to be brief but you must write what they want okay that is question one question 1.1.2 discuss the impact of social media on the constitutional right to privacy hey i'm saying it like module speed so uh that is why i said this module is easy to get an, um, a distinction because you just apply this you think about what's going on here let let's think critically with social media ever since the days of facebook what has changed what has changed how do we now view privacy hey right? how do we uh, privacy guys you are not that girl how do we now <laughs> view privacy how do you think privacy is being affected by um social media what is the impact? What is the outcome ever since we've gotten this social media platforms? You know, when you apply for, when you, when you sign into an app, you click on terms and conditions that you guys don't read where somewhere they say we can share your data with who, 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 who for what, what marketing, what, what that is invasion of privacy. And unfortunately you give a, a, a consent for that. You know, so privacy is becoming, the, the lights are getting blurred. But I, I, I said uh, in my answer, ne? I'm trying to, you know, to, 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 to make you think. This is not some, I'm not studying SJD, SJD, I don't even remember. I just know that this is how to answer. It's the same way I've been telling you with research methodology and said, do this, do this, and you guys got a... Uh, you guys got 100 cpd you guys got 100 that's what I, i'm applying this I'm, I'm applying this i know i owe you guys a video for cpd for revision i'm gonna upload it latest tomorrow because anyway you guys should be studying you just need to know how to structure your answers and i know you're scared of those questions because they look like you need to write a very long thing um you write according to the marks I'll show you how, okay? Anyway, so this is 1.2. 
So there's a saying that goes, once it's on the internet, it's permanently there. So your privacy is up. Oh, even if you delete it. Now this implies that by posting your picture, for instance, on a public uh, platform, you forfeit your right to privacy. I get um, this has created a rather negative impact on the right to privacy. This is because as people post their information and share with social media platforms, their information can be shared without consent. Although the Poppy Act prohibits such, it's not totally easy to control such. You know, it's not. It's not because you can, you can, you can turn off your 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 download whatever. Let's like screenshot. We're going to screenshot. So privacy becomes out of the window. If you put it on the internet, it's no longer private. We will we will screenshot. If the app doesn't want us to screenshot, we have two phones. We will take a picture and then do our gossip blog, for example. Okay? Uh, I hope you heard me. So the reason why they're saying it's your own philosophy, you write in your own words. You don't go to some Google thing and put... You apply this. Okay, Mara. How do you view privacy now that there's social media? You know? Privacy has become something very, very, very uh, bled. You know? Let us move on to... Question three. This is the one that made me to say... <gasps> example of how social media impacted the right to privacy your example must be obtained from a newspaper name and date or electronic source that is that is correctly referenced i must be able to verify the source via the ur url provided you must provide only the title of the article and the name of the newspaper and electronic source you you guys are getting things and then you are writing www.encnews.co.za Are you serious? If you click on that link, are you going to get to your topic? When they said you must, they must be able to verify the URL, they mean write the URL in its full notation. Right? URL is that thing that you find on top of your Google. There, there, where there's a little key, there's a whatever. On the search bar there, the one that's on top, it says HTTP two dots slash WW. You write all of it, including the numbers, until it writes the topic at the end. Okay? It says, now I chose one. And I want you guys to learn something. You guys are Googling um, social media impact on privacy newspaper south africa guys the, listen to this question it says that you your example must be obtained from a newspaper or i can get the like a spirit or electronic source that is correct correctly uh, um reference so na, i went for a published article right Published article, it means a master's student has written on this subject and it's published because you know, it's referenced. It's a research. It's correctly referenced. So what I did, I went there and I, I picked the, the, the topic there that says social media changed the notion of privacy. And I wrote the URL, which is www, no, which is HTTPS two dots slash www.researchgate.net slash publication then you have no more 3071592 dash and then social media change the notation the notion of privacy right when the lecturer clicks on that link it's gonna go straight to the language we're not going to do this guys then eh? how are we going to get to final year if you you can't follow a simple it says when they click on the url it must go there so you are going to lose marks because you you did not copy a url that you find on the internet Hi, 
all right let us move on to question 1.2 i'm gonna do this is part one right 1.2 it says the impact of social media to the on the constitutional right to freedom of expression in south africa restate the relevant section in 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 the constitution of south africa act 106 of 1996 as amended okay this is the friend that you must have from today until forever as long as you are the lawyer you have this one if it's updated you get another one if they wrote a better english or something translation i'm here i have it it even still looks new you see why don't you have this explain explain why you don't have the constitution hmm? why so you're gonna go to where you find freedom of expression i'm gonna give you this one mm -hmm. and then it says section 16 in the constitution deals with the right to freedom of expression right question section 16 you've quoted all right everyone has the right to freedom of expression which includes freedom to receive or impart education or in sorry or impart information i know it's got a whole list of freedom of expression what 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 right mara because here we are dealing with social media and information i single-handedly i picked up the one that deals directly with this okay you can write the rest if you want but this is what we are dealing with information on the internet okay so question two says provide an example of how social media impacted the right to freedom of expression same thing you provide only the the name of the article and the name of the newspaper and electronic source whatever you use okay so um oh this is number three sorry uh, number two says 1.2 says discuss the impact of social media on the constitution constitutional right to freedom of expression freedom of speech okay let's continue discuss the impact of social media on the constitutional right to freedom of expression okay so um social media has created a very broad platform for individuals to be able to express themselves okay this has had a positive impact with respect to their right to freedom of expression as social media has enhanced this right the downside is some people abuse this right by using hate speech or spreading misinformation okay this is the impact this is the result okay then we get to 1.3 you do the same thing you can use like an article from a master student's student and then where they wrote the topic this topic if you find it on the internet you write it and you write the full notation of the url address language I will see you on part two, ne? and on part two, please let us be getting along. That I'll see you on part two, okay? Then we will. But please forget about my ranting a lot. But please follow what I've told you so that you get your marks. Because you see, they've given you something so long, or oh, well, so long but a bit short, and they expect you to write a lot of words. And if you, if you are going to make a mistake, you get zero because you did not write a URL. You did not, guys, you failed to copy a URL address. Let's go and bake in church. Leave this thing and sell in church. Don't get me wrong, but I, guys, you can't fail to copy a URL address. But anyway, guys. I have to prepare HFL. I have to uh, record for CPD. So I have a lot to do. We're going to talk and fix this portfolio. Everybody's getting a distinction. Okay. I love you so much. Mwah!